The News for South Mississippi. WLOX News at Midday. Welcome back. Well, whether you're living with gluten intolerance, celiac disease, or simply watching your gluten intake, there's a new cookbook you should check out. Indeed, and here it is right here. And a little while ago, Megan and I spoke with nationally renowned chef and author of the Gluten-Free Almond Flour Cookbook, Elana Amsterdam. Hi, Elana. Thank you for joining us today. Good to see you. Hi, Tommy. Hi, Megan. How are you guys? Doing great. We're Staying good. Cool. We're good. Hey, for those who <laughs> may not know, what is gluten and why is it a good idea to be gluten free? Well, gluten is a protein found in wheat, rye, and barley. And for people that have gluten intolerance, gluten sensitivity, or celiac disease, they need to be gluten free because gluten is a poison to their bodies. And that can be a bit of a challenge, if I'm correct. I mean, gluten is in a lot of foods we may not realize. Yeah, gluten is in a lot of foods. And the good news, though, is that gluten isn't in a bunch of foods also. There's no gluten in apples, bananas, or almonds, which are my favorite food. And I wrote a whole book about almonds because I love them so much. Yeah, that cake, we've been admiring that cake on the <laughs> cover of your book. It, it looks to die for, but uh, tell us about some of these recipes and why almond flour? Sure. Um, in the book, I have a hundred recipes using almond flour, and I have um, things like muesli bread, pancakes, turkey burgers, salmon burgers, chicken parmesan, cookies, all kinds of things. And then here, I would like to show you, I have a cranberry loaf, double almond chocolate chip cookies, mm. and rosemary crackers. And those are all made with almonds, too. Those recipes are actually on the Almond Board website. Wow, they sure do look good, for sure. Hey, when you're eating gluten-free, should all grains be avoided? No, only those grains with gluten in them, which are wheat, rye, and barley. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. And is it hard? What about finding these items in your local grocery store? Do you have to visit a, a specialty store that you know of? Well, I buy my almond flour online. Um, oh, good so, idea, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's easy to find online. You can pretty much get it anywhere online. And then again, the good news with, um, with shopping for gluten-free food is that a lot of food is naturally gluten-free. Do you ever replace one ingredient with another in some of your recipes? You know, I do that. Um, once you're substituting any ingredient for another ingredient, mm -hmm. it's a little bit of an experiment. So in my book, I have recipes that are just for regular people like you and me. Um, like I said, things like chicken parmesan, anything that you would find in the joy of cooking that a family would want to eat. Those are the kinds of recipes in my book. And of course, they're all made with almond flour. Yeah. Do you have any favorites? I'm curious. I mean, you've written a whole I, book about it. But what are some of your favorites? Well, my favorite actually is right here next to me. I love the cranberry loaf. Oh, and I think I mentioned that recipe is actually, I wrote exclusively for the almond board. And I love, I love goods that are made with almond flour because the taste of almonds are, is so rich and buttery. And I also feel really good after I eat them. Mm -hmm. My husband uses um, actually these double almond chocolate chip cookies as a recovery food after he goes on a long bike ride or a hike. And that's kind of, he uses them instead of eating a protein bar, actually. Well, wow, sounds like so a good tastes, idea. Yeah, it tastes like a cookie, but you're getting a lot more. Yeah, wow. Can almond flour be replaced with, say, another flour like coconut flour or something like that? You know, I do cook a lot with coconut flour. My love affair really is with almonds. Mm -hmm. I actually grew up in Northern California in almond country, and I just love the flavor of almonds. They're, I, almonds are my favorite food, whether it's almond flour or just keeping a jar of almonds in my car. When I pick the children up from school, if they're hungry, they'll ask if they can have a handful of almonds. Yeah. So I'm a little bit of an almond addict. Can't I eat actually. just one, <laughs> that's for sure. No, and you certainly whet our appetites, but where can people go for more information, Ilana? Um, you can go to almondboard.com for more recipes with almonds, nutrition information, and all kinds of fun facts. Any books coming out in the future? Oh, there's always something in the works, and I'm always adding new recipes to my website, ilanaspantry.com. Well, the gluten-free almond flour cookbook from Ilana Amsterdam. Thank you, Ilana. Thank you for joining Thanks, us today. Thanks, Megan. Thanks, Have a Tommy. great weekend. Bye-bye. You too. Well, let's wash that down.